All right, number three. The shaded part of the model represents the fraction Alonzo drew. He subtracted a fraction from the original fraction. Circle the expression the model represents and explain your thinking. So boys and girls, I'm so excited that we get to do a model like this because I have actually seen a model like this on different worksheets that we've done and different assessments. And so I'm so excited that we have this opportunity to look at this model and discuss it together. So when I go back and read my question, it says the shaded part of the model represents a fraction that Alonzo drew the first thing I want to do is I want to look at my model and I'm going to make some notes. So I'm noticing that we've got this X thing. It's kind of not, you know, it's right there in the middle. It's not easy to disguise. It's right there. I'm also noticing that we've got equal pieces. So I know that I'm going to have some kind of fraction amount. And it also tells me in the story that he subtracted a fraction from the original fraction. So I'm thinking that this X is some kind of part that is subtracted. I know that in first grade and second grade, sometimes your models had pieces X'd out. So I feel like a starting point for me would be to think about what did he start with? So when I look at this model, I'm thinking that he started with the shaded part. And the shaded part is one, two, three, four, five, six pieces out of eight. Because there are eight total. Now it looks to me like he X'd out some. He X'd out two of those pieces. So he subtracted two of the eight pieces. And so when I think about six eighths minus two eighths, that makes sense because then I would get four eighths. And that answer is about is one whole because we know four is half of eight. But when I look at what I need to circle, I'm not seeing any of that listed here. So I'm going to back up and I'm going to think about 6 eighths. So when I'm thinking about this, I know last week when we were engineering equivalents, we were thinking about other names for fractions. So if I had 8 equal pieces here and 6 of them are shaded, I'm going to take those vertical lines and I'm going to kind of outline them with my pen and I'm looking for another fraction name. And so I do see one. I see that this could be one, two, three, four equal pieces. So my denominator would become four. And one, two, three of those pieces are shaded. So another name for six eighths might be three fourths. We know that he's subtracting because they told us that in the story. So I'm going to go ahead and write my subtraction sign. And I have to think about another name for two eighths. So when I go back to my picture model, I can see that I have one whole piece that's X'd out out of my four equal pieces. So I have three fourths minus one fourth which would give me two fourths. Again, that makes sense because we already, oh wait, we know two is half of four. So that is equivalent to one half. So I'm kind of getting the same answer two times. So that makes me feel good about my information. So now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna look. Hmm, all right. So I'm gonna circle this word or because it looks like I have a choice. I can either say that this is three fourths minus two eighths, or I can say one half minus two sixths. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at what I've got first. What am I starting with? Am I starting with six eighths or am I starting with three fourths? Well, I notice right away that we're starting with three fourths. I'm going to write, I'm going to circle that. That's going to give me a check. Am I starting with one half? No, I am not starting with one half. One half ends up being my answer. 
and we're subtracting, so I'm going to uncover that. I'm still subtracting. And then we have the fraction 2 eighths. So when I go back over to my model, I know that I have 2 eighths, and we said another name might be 1 fourth, but we know 1 fourth can also be 2 eighths. So does that check out? That also checks out too. And it's not going to be called 2 sixths because we didn't have just six pieces, we had eight. So I'm going to go ahead and cross that out. So when I go back and look at my model and I look at the pieces of information that I represented, 3 fourths with minus 2 eighths is the answer that I'm looking for. So I want to circle this whole expression right here. We want our first choice.